What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I am a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And you guys have seen my video on everything I love about medical school. You've seen my day in the lives, you've seen my study with me's, and I absolutely love medical school, but I never actually uh, take the time to tell you guys the flip side of the things. You know, what are the bad things to do with medical school and what are the things that I don't really like as much about being in medical school? Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love medical school. There is no other sort of degree in the world that I would rather be doing. Uh, I love it so much and you guys know that. So don't take this the wrong way, but if you guys are interested in medicine, maybe you're thinking about applying to medical school, then these are the things that you guys should know. Maybe you're already in medicine, uh, maybe first year, second year, and maybe you can kind of relate to me on the things I'm about to talk about. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about everything that I don't like about being a medical student. All right, so the first thing that I don't like about being a medical student is that you always kind of seem a few years behind of your friends who are not doing medicine. So if you guys I didn't know I'm 24 years old and I did biomedical science first and because medicine is such a long degree you spend maybe five or six years in medical school um, all of your friends who kind of did other degrees and only did uh, three-year degrees uh, by now by my age a lot of them have already you know bought really nice cars bought houses got married earning a lot of money and all of these things and I'm this 24 year old guy who's still in his seventh year of education in university I do love being a student and I do absolutely love living that student lifestyle still but it kind of would be nice on the flip side to be you know maybe where my friends are you know having a mortgage um, having a house not living in student accommodation uh, all of those things are things that you need to consider before coming into medical school you know it's a very long degree it's five or six years before you actually start earning a salary so you may be 23 24 years old when you actually graduate from medical school if you do get in the first time but if you're like me and you do another degree first by the time I graduate I'll actually be 26 years old and that'll be my first job you know starting as a doctor at 26 years old uh, compared to where my friends start their graduate jobs at 21. I'm almost five years behind all of my friends uh, in regards to um, you know being outside of education and that's one thing you need to consider before um, applying to medical school. Another thing is is that because your degree is at least two years uh, maybe three years longer than all of your friends is you will incur a lot more debt than them. You know the cost of medical school in the UK is nine and a quarter grand per year but of course you need to think about your maintenance so you may have to take out maintenance loan as well so you will incur a lot more debt than your friends and when you do graduate you will have more debt to pay off when you actually start uh, your job of being a doctor. The next thing that I don't like at all about being in medical school is that you have to move around quite a bit. So in your first few years of medical school when you're in lectures that's completely fine all you have to do is go to your lectures and seminars but when you finally become a clinical medical student and you're placed at the hospitals you have to move around quite a lot. As you guys know I'm not based in London anymore even though I'm studying at King's College London. I'm actually at a hospital in Kent which is in the southwest of England, no the southeast of England around an hour away from London so all of my friends you know who I was before uh, in London with I'm not with them anymore. I have friends who are based all around the whole entire southeast of England and a lot of my friends are at least an hour away and that can be quite hard sometimes as well. This is in comparison to when I was in biomed. When I was in biomed all we had are lectures and labs so for the whole entire three years I was always within a mile of my friends. We sat in the same lectures, the same labs and when we finally went home after uh, uni as well would always be so close to each other so I could see them every single day five days a week and that was so so nice but you know having to be you know an hour away from all of my friends you know it's it is quite difficult to see them these days especially when you're so busy with medical school from Monday to Friday and you only have Saturday and Sunday to kind of recover for the following week. The other thing is that as well as moving around you're also divided quite a lot so even if you are based in a London hospital you'll be divided into different small groups you'll be uh, on different rotations as well on different hospitals in the entire you know city or country and when you're divided um up into the year into your own rotations uh, when you're kind of rotating through all the clinical specialties sometimes you may not know anyone in your entire group because medicine is such a big course you know in my year we have 500 people because it's such a big course the chance of you knowing someone in your actual rotation is quite slim um, so you, the good thing is that you get to meet loads of people on a new rotation in a new hospital you get to make friends but by the time you form a strong bond with these people you're onto your next rotation into a new group and you have to start the whole process of making friends again and even if you are based in the same city for your clinical rotations, you may be at different hospitals on you know on the other side of the city. Uh, for example, in my third year when I was based at King's College Hospital, some of my friends were in Lewisham, which was like 45 minutes to an hour away by public transport. So even if you are within the same city as your friends in a different hospital, it's still really hard to see them. And even if you are in the same hospital as your friends, you may be on different rotations completely. So the chances of running into each other can also be quite low as well. You know, moving around is, it's, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing as well. 
well. You know, the bad thing is just what I said. And the good thing is that, you know, you get to experience different parts of the country. You get to meet more new people as well. And you get to, um, you know, see parts of the country that you may not have seen if you're based at one hospital or in one location. I do like the fact that I live in Kent now. It's a different area. It's not as busy as London. And there are definitely loads of good things about Kent. Um, go check out my day in the life if you haven't, if you want to know more about this. Um, but there are a lot of downsides to it, as I just mentioned. But at the end of the day, it was my choice to be based outside of London. So I can't really complain too much. The next thing that I don't like as much about medical school is that it feels very slow. Um, although I do love the entire process, I love every single day of my life in medicine. It's, you know, a five-year degree at the minimum. Now that my fourth year of medical school, looking back to my first year, honestly feels like it was a lifetime ago. And because the training process is so long, you know, once you graduate with medical school, having to do two years of junior doctor and then specializing for, you know, up to eight, 10 years to finally become a consultant in your mid-30s, it's an entirely long process. And thinking about where I'll be, you know, when I finally do become a consultant just seems so far away, like a completely different universe. It feels kind of weird when I talk to my friends who are in different um, you know, fields. Some of my friends who are in finance at my age are already at the top of their fields earning a lot of money. A lot of my friends who are in law who have already graduated at the top of their fields. You know, it's very, very different to medicine, which is a very, very slow. You know, medical school is very long. You have to do so much work in order to finally graduate. And then you start at the bottom of the pile again and have to work towards, you know, becoming a consultant. Um, you know, that's a downside to it. Of course, there is an amazing uh, positive side to it, which, which is the reason why I chose medicine is the fact that every single day is different. I, I really wouldn't want to do a job where I graduate and I'm at the top of my field and there's nothing to learn anymore. And, you know, for the rest of my life, I'm doing the same exact job with no nothing new to learn. You know, I wouldn't like a job like that. So obviously the, the plus side to that is that, you know, every single day is different. It's difficult, it's a challenge, and every single day you learn new stuff as well. The last thing that I don't like about medical school, and this may be a personality thing, I'm not entirely sure, but you kind of feel like you always have to work. And when you're not working, you actually feel guilty about not working. You know, this is in comparison to my friends who are doing things like, you know, um, art, um, English, you know, music, whatever that might be. A lot of my friends who are on different degrees, you know, always go out and socialize. Well, not as much now because of Corona, but before that, they used to go out quite a lot and socialize. And you can't go out all the time because you have to start, you know, in the hospital at 7.45 the next morning and you go home at 5 or 6 p.m. that day and you're so, so tired. I do feel a little bit better with Corona now that my friends aren't going as much. They're kind of being stuck at home like I always am because I have so much work to do with uh, medical school. But being in medicine means that you're on the course, which I, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it has one of the highest amount of hours that you actually have to give to your course. Um, you know, some of my friends who are doing music or English literally have two or three hours a week. But in medical school, you, you know, especially in fourth year, you're in the hospital five days a week from nine to five. And it's, it's a very, very long day, a very, very long week. It's also different to my last degree in biomed where being in medical school means that you have to know everything you've learned over the last, you know, four or five years all the time. You know, when I was in biomed, I would cram for the exams. I would um, sit the exam, then I forget everything. But in medicine, you have to constantly be going over your old content to make sure that you always kind of remember it and um, you're always preparing for another exam. You know, in medical school, at least in Kings, we have exams every three months at the very least. You're always trying to do well in your clinical placements. You're always trying to impress your uh, seniors, always trying to be the best medical student you can and also having to, you know, prepare for the exams uh, coming up. It can be quite difficult difficult at times. So that pressure of always having to remember information in your past and, uh, you know, prepare for the exams ahead and try to be a good medical student, try not look like an idiot when you're in the hospital, all that pressure can definitely make you feel like you always have work to do and can sometimes make you feel a bit guilty about not doing that work, or at least again, in my case. So those are the things that I don't like about being in medical school. I hope I haven't scared you guys off for applying to medical school. As I said, and if you watch my videos, you'll know that I absolutely love medical school. It was, it's been the best decision in my life to start medical school and I hope I haven't scared you guys off. If you have any questions about anything I've said or anything in general, then please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one.